guys, this is Destiny, and we're going to talk today about complaining. Wow. We find ourselves complaining as much as we hear other people complaining. But people constantly just complain, complain, and complain. And a lot of times they're really not consciously aware that they are complaining because it has become a um, habitual habit and so they're used to speaking or saying things and a lot of times they're really not seeing how negative their complaints or thoughts may be so I thought this would be interesting are you a complainer are you a whiner are you always seeking out attention about always degrading something complain nothing never makes you happy Nothing never makes you feel happy or complete. You might be a complainer. I'm going to tell you right now. Even though I am at the place I am today, having my third eye open, growing into my higher and best version of whom the creator God of this universe has created me to be, being so in tune with nature and so connected with the divine creator and the universe, and just being spiritually, truly awakened to my divine goddess within me. At times, because I'm living in this world, <laughs> that I find myself at that place where I complain. It's nothing like I used to. I used to complain about this and that and everything else. Like a lot of you do, or you, a lot of you may have done. I find myself, you know, sometimes I catch myself complaining, whining. But see, we have no, I mean, we really have a choice. Either sit in that place of what we don't like or what is making us discomfort or is causing us to be agitated. We got to sit, we, we, have, a, we have the choice to get up and change the damn situation, people. Even me, Destiny, talking to you, Destiny. Instead, instead of allowing it to control us and the words that we speak and how we say things and destroying our beautiful day that we set out to do until we run across that thing or that situation that annoys us, that aggravates us, that pisses us off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Excuse me for that. But people, we all have a choice to make. So let's jump into this. So why in the world do we complain? Stay tuned. I'm about to tell you that. I'm going to give you a little bit of something to think about. And then you can just compare that to your thoughts, to situations and circumstances that you have been in or you have been pinned in or forced in. Hey, then maybe you can answer that question for yourself. Hello, everyone. This is your girl, Destiny. My YouTube channel is Destiny Forever Walks, and I'm back with this video to talk about complainers. So the topic is, why in the world do we complain? So my people, that's the question. Ask yourself, why do I complain? Personally, turn that question around on yourself. Why do I complain? It's one thing is complaining, and another thing is just continue to stay in your complaining and complaining all day and stop and say, hey, I'm going to change the situation. And I find myself complaining sometimes. Like I said, my job is very stressful, and I get really worn out. It doesn't take much. Sometimes it just unravel me, but I have the power of control over that, and I got to realize and recognize that. Instead of making complaint about it, I got the choice to say, hey, it does not have to be my reality that I'm in. I don't have to even deal with it this way. I can change that thought. And you came to my people. So why, so why in the world do we complain, people? Why do we complain in the first place? Now, that's actually, my people, I'm telling you, a very good question to ask yourself. But unfortunately, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not an easy answer to that question. It's not an easy answer. It's not easy to answer because people typically 
make complaints for a multiple a multiple so many different reasons that's why people complain and I'm gonna give you some I got some notes here let me give you, I'll give you some number one when masking personal failures and insecurities number two when dealing with stress discomfort and frustration number three when responding to feelings of jealousy and or envy. Number four, when not living up to their personal standards and or expectations. Number five, when feeling genuinely dissatisfied about something. Number six, when feeling somewhat cheated or mistreated unfairly. And number seven, when life feels somewhat uncontrollable. Number eight, when feeling self-conscious about something. Number nine, in order to gain sympathy from others. Number 10, in order to gain or in order to make themselves more significant and important. And then number 11, my people, are simply because they have a pessimistic nature. Those are reasons why a lot of times we complain. And I'm sure out of the 11, I know some of them had hit you side of the head. Some of them had really made you say, oh, that's me, that's me. I know. I know some hit me, some of them really hit me, but I'm working at it and I gotta keep working at it until I master control over that, those negative thoughts and why complaining instead of getting up and changing the situation, changing the circumstances and don't allow those things to control or dominate the mind that the creator God which the universe has placed in me. He said, let this mind be in you, which is also in him and he's not a complainer. Whenever he speaks, everything stands still. Whenever he speaks, everything has to come into existence. Everything has to conform to his words because his words has power. But the same very words that he placed in us, my people, we have the power to change any situation. But we got to do it on a level of positivity. And we got to get out of, of being so pessimistic, so negative. So... Your reasons for complaining, my people, it might vary from situation to situation. However, the outcome of your complaints will pretty much always be the same. And do you ever notice that? Every day, it's just like it's it been programmed into your mind and, and into your thoughts. You complain about this. You go through the day, you make more complaints, and you turn around, and the next day it starts all over and all over and all over again because you have not, or I even have not sometimes said, Hey, I'm not gonna allow this to dominate my thoughts, I'm not gonna allow this to run my day, I'm not gonna allow this to have me to speak negativity to the atmosphere so it can change. The positive outlook that I can walk in, that I can, that I can be my greater, higher self, that I can be my happy, wholesome, healthy self. And a lot of times, my people, we keep complaining and complaining and whining about things. It creates disease in the body, ill health. So we, the outcome of your complaints will pretty much always be the same. You gotta have to take the power and control. And and learn how to master the positivity and the thoughts of the Creator God away from the negativity of the things that we are thinking that is not doing us any good. Okay, people, you see, nothing changes because complaining it is a fruitless exercise for the main reason that it absorbs all of our responsibility and. When we shun responsibility, guess what? We effectively acknowledge that we have no absolutely control over our lives or our situations, even in the environment we are in or the people that we're 
we are around because we allow that big negative voice and those words to come out around those people which is just as negative as we are and they're using our negative thoughts to fuel themselves to be more negative than what they really are so we are co-partner we're agreeing with them and now the whole atmosphere is negative and you are a higher spiritual being an energy being and you are allowing yourself to be aligned with negativity and it has drained you from the positivity that the creator has placed in you my people and when we don't believe that we have control then we often play that victim card you can you got that that victim card and hope that a superhero will come in and save the day a superhero will come in and move us out of the situation, rescue us. <laughs> you y'all y'all got me, y'all okay, you got me. But listen, people, I'ma tell you, stop looking for Superman or Batman or or the incredible Hulk or whoever that you think that is your superhero. They ain't coming for you, baby. They're not coming to rescue you. They're not coming to take you out of your shit that you created. They're not coming to take you out of the mess that you constantly keep speaking into your life. So, stop playing the victim. Stop using that victim card and hope that a superhero will come in and save the day. My people, you are, listen, listen to Destiny, you are the one responsible or making yourself fully and accountable for every situation that you're in and for the predicament that you're in. You're responsible. You don't want to allow your ego to flip your switch in a negative way and you just spoke out of your mouth without even thinking. You are in control of that. As such, people, you must now work through this situation in a proactive way without making excuses and without complaining. Let this mind keep telling you people, be in me, which was also in the divine creator himself. He has given us his mind, his thoughts. He said, I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you to give you hope, my people, and an expected end. So we got to lie in ourselves and our words and our minds because we've already been programmed by the universe, the creator, God, for our, to speak the good in us. But then when we turn ourselves away from the creator and we begin to co-partner with our egos and the world systems and all these things and allow it to pull us into a place of negativity, the place that pulls us into negative energy. And we start walking beside these negative energy vamp vampires that's sucking the life out of us, the positivity. There when we lose hope. There when we lose creating ourselves as that superhero, that super being. So my people, I'm going to say this again. Stop playing the victim card in hope that a superhero will come in and save your day. But that superhero is so unlikely to show up. Stop waiting, not coming. That superhero is not coming. Unlikely people because that superhero, guess what, it is you. You are the superhero that you have been waiting for. So you better take track. You better strip down out of the clothes that you're in. You better strap on your superhero costume my baby and you started spreading your wings and you just fly out of all those negative situations and circumstances you are the one responsible my people for making yourself fully accountable for your predicament and as such my people listen to this you must work through this situation as i said before in a proactive way without making excuses or complaining about it. It's just going to stay the same. If you're not never going to get up and put the work to it, if you're never not going to get up and change the circumstances 
that you look at negative ways and all those things, my people, it's gonna stay there. And it's, it keeps growing bigger, it's just like a wildfire, just out of control. Complaining about things will typically not help you resolve the situation. You're only creating more of that negativity. You're only creating more of what you're saying that you don't like. And you're making yourself more miserable and miserable woman people. You know they say it loves company. Did you know that? Misery loves company, people. So if, if you don't want to have misery spending time with you every single day of your life, then you got to disconnect disconnect yourself from that company of misery only by accepting my people fully responsibility for the decisions and for the actions that you made that led you to this situation and it will open the doors my people to further possibilities once you dis detach, detach yourself away from all those negative things from the miserable people you're going to see some things start working now because you're going to align yourself and your words and your thoughts with the plans and the programs that the Creator has predestined for you to walk in from the foundation of this earth. There is one word, my people. I'm going to tell you. One word. And it's a one-word solution to stop oneself. One-word solution to stop oneself from complaining. This is magic, people. Ain't nothing wrong with magic. Magic is pure. It's innocent. It's how you think of it. It's always your thoughts of how you think of things that you can make it good or bad. Magic is beautiful. It's a possibility of bringing hope into your life. But let me tell you this one word solution to stop complaining. And my people, that one word is avoid. I'm going to spell that. A-V-O-I-D. Don't tell me that, that you didn't get that because I know you got it. And don't go out there and tell nobody. I never knew the answer to stop complaining was a void until Destiny told us today. You know your girl Destiny got your back. I'm always going to try to help you out of your situation, my people. But you got to help me. So you got to catch on to that word. That one solution to stop complaining, that one little word is a void. And let me tell you what a void is. Avoid means to keep away from, keep away from. You got total, absolute power and control to stay out of those situations, to control the way you talk, to control the things around you. You, you got that power within you. To keep away from or stop yourself or oneself from doing something. Nobody can stop you. You have that power within you. Choose you this day. Whom you will serve, my people. That's what the Creator God has told you. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Choose you this day whom or what you will serve. He said, for me and my household. For you, me and my household, I choose to do the things in the way that the Creator has predestined the purpose for me to live. Sure. Choose you this day whom you will serve. And my people, that is all it is. One word. Work on that one word. Avoid negativity. Avoid negative environments. Avoid speaking positive, uh, those negative things. Avoid people that is a busybody, that's nosy. Avoid situations that know it's going to, it's going to, Set your mind to a negative place. Avoid being around things that create bitterness, that create a place of unlove in your heart. Just avoid those things. And you don't have to think on those things. You think on the things of the divine creator himself. And as you people listen to the habit of complaining, you will find yourself leading a more confident lifestyle. You have a more joyful peace. That peace of God will surpass us all understanding, my people. It's going to keep your heart. It's going to keep your mind and your soul. That's so important. Your soul, your how your constant state of being is going to keep your soul all in line and tune with the divine creator, God himself. So, stop complaining about things that is beyond your control. 
and then you move forward with self-assurance and with confidence with the God that is within you, with the goddess that's within you. Because the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, my people, is in you. He blew his breath of life into you and you became God consciousness. You act like him. You speak like the creator God. You do the things in the way the creator God does. It. You don't complain. You don't whine. You don't sit around and make situations so it can keep brewing more negativity in your life. That is not the way our God operates. He is bigger than all your situations.